What's up, everybody? The C A R L O S cards today. These are my top ten hardcore tracks. That's what Spotify says on my wrap up of 2023. I wanted to do this last year with the top ten that I had from Spotify as well, but I forgot to do it, or I I, I didn't have time actually to do it because the wrap up came out a little bit later than usual. This time it came the right time november because last time it came out like this i think the first week of december but yeah i was doing some other videos and i was too busy focusing on fungal pot videos during this time last year and i didn't have time to do these nordcore tra uh, top 10 but to this year i had time to do it so i'll put it uh tell me in the comment down below what was your top 10 or record tracks that you listen on Spotify? Or tell me how it was your wrap up. What was your top 10 songs in the comments down below? If it's Nordcore, regular hip hop, or any other genre or anime openings, tell me the comment down below. So, these are my top 10. We're going to start with number 10. And I, I'm surprised it was this one for, for us. Uh, there were plenty of good ham sandwich tracks. That he released from Yes Sir to his album. I enjoyed it. So there was plenty of tracks from this album that I enjoyed. And I was surprised this was one of them. So let's have a little listen. So, man, the hook was so catchy. The way Hans came in with his first verse from the hook to his first verse was amazing. The Pestle Pete always bring his energy. And then Ashton Roy was, oh, bring that aggressive of like if if this is not za this ain't no za so it, like it's like the end of, it's like the writers at the end of game of thrones and he would go at it and at it with different stuff that he hated so it was awesome this was a one of the bangers from his album yesterday too that i enjoyed and i said the hook the way ham came in to from the hook to the first verse it was amazing. Ashton did an amazing job with his verse. And then uh, Pezzle Pete, energy. He always has energy when he's on the track. So, number nine was this one from Taste Less Mage. I love the hook. I enjoy the hook. The instrumental was amazing. Uh, one flow they had in, I think it was second verse. Well, like, dun 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 like that flow was oh man it was always caught in my head like I was so stuck with that flow for quite a time and I was listening to this track because that one part one that one flow that he had in this song the hook is amazing and the instrumental it goes so well with that little that little part that he flowed and oh my god. Uh, I was not expecting it to be in top 10, but hey, I'm glad it was top 10. So, yeah. So, number eight. I I, I had a feeling this one was going to be my number uh, top 10. And this was the Your Song Revealing by Holla CG with uh, Chera. Oh, my God, man. With a little bit of like salsa kind of instrumental, a little, little parts instrumental. The instrumental change up a bit with the trumpets and the 
almost to the end of the, tr- uh, the song with the instru- the wind instruments. Oh my god! Then Holly CG with her vocals is always amazing. But it had it had so many changes that it was so good from the beginning, starting off slow with the hood going quicker, and then the end with the wind instrumental with uh, yo. It's so good, man. I expected it to be this top 10 because I'm telling you, the way that this song was like a ride, it was a beautiful ride. And the vocals of Paula CG throughout the song was amazing. So I'm telling you, the instrument, the instrumental, man, and her vocals is my goodness, man. I knew that it was going to be the top 10 because, yo. Know, when I first heard this, I was like, yo, I was blown away. And I still am, and I'm still enjoying this track. So, to number seven. This was no, I, I knew Rocky Music was going to have a, a, one of their songs in the top ten. Because I always enjoy their music with the Final Nights of Freddy. But the Murder Drone song, yo. I did watch the first two episodes prior to this. And the, as I said, the film, uh, film theory um, from MadPat. And uh, yo, I gotta still finish this uh, in, uh, series. Uh, I think there are like three episodes I'm still behind. But yeah, if you guys want me to react to it, just tell me the comment down below. Also, but oh my god, rocket music, they always do it for Taz John. Let's listen to it. Here it comes. Keep going, man. But this song is amazing. I was not, yeah. I was not expecting to go with that. Woo! That good, amazing hook. That hook is so like, like it's so good, man. Every time I'm like, I want to know what word if I'm saying the correct the right lyrics whenever I sing that hook. Cause, oh my god, I feel like I I, I miss. Saying a word in the hook every time when I'm seeing that hook, man, in the car. Every time, like, am I saying it right? I hope I'm saying it right. Every time I have to come back, check the lyric video, and see if I'm saying the right word in the hook. Because it's so good. This was like, oh, my God. And the way they kept, they went back to it one more time, the hook, in the end, was amazing. I was like, one more, one more. I'm like, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome tracks, man, from Rocket Music. Very happy to have one of their songs in my top 10. Oh, my God. I enjoy their music. To number six. Thigs of Prophecy. Invincible. Mikey Rap. Uh, I know it's featuring Zach B and Zoe Zamora. So... Let's listen. Me nauseous, I'm lost. I need a friend who doesn't pretend, who tells me I'm handling things of the darkest. I'm seeing no end, I'm losing my can, I'm choosing no sin. These days are the hardest. I need a friend that'll stay to the end, I'm running on empty. Here goes me. Yo, this song was, I think it was different for me from hearing from Diggs, Sunday, a song, it was totally different from his wife who raps and, so, uh, and like freestyling and John Wick chapter four. It was, this song was totally different from everything that he released 
And boy, it, it's, it, I, I knew this was going to be in my top 10 because it was so different from any other kind of things, the prophecy so, rap. And it stayed with me. The way he, he started with his first verse, I was like, yo, this is a different side of things. And it, I enjoyed the hook. From Zoe, she did a fantastic job with that hook. That hook, oh my god, that little part in the hook, it always, every time when I listen to it, I'm like, oh my god, that still, it still gives me chills, man. When I listen to that hook, Zach B always does an amazing job when he's featured, man. So Zach B did a fantastic job with his verse as well. But this was totally different from Dicks to Prophecy, Waifu Rap, and yo. I know this was going to be a top 10 because I always kept listening to this one because this one felt different from what they usually release. And the way he read, he was like, yo, like you felt like it felt like it was Mikey talking. So it was an amazing track. And that hook, now I'm telling you, that hook is still, uh, it gets me. Oh, what a performance from Zoe. Um, but everyone did a fantastic job with this track, and I knew this was going to be a top 10 because I, I would listen so many times to this track because it was so different from Dick's The Prophecy catalog that I wanted to keep listening to this. Like, throughout the year, I was listening when it first came out, and I kept listening to it and listening to it because it was, it was that good. It, it went well, so well with the with Mikey, the character, Ever since the, I think it was the last, second to last episode of Tokyo Revenger season two, when I was like, yo, this is goes in. Like, this is fits very well with to the character. And yeah, I knew this was going to be a top 10 because, as I said, it's different from what usually digs the prophecy release. And this song, ooh, it gets me every time, man. So, to number five. And that's the Aki Hayakawa rap. New phone, who's this? By hand sandwich featuring hashtag. Yo, let's listen to this. In the drop top, ruthless. I ain't fucking with a nigga being useless. Pull up with the all black like toothless. If he ain't talking money, leave a nigga toothless. Niggas know me as a menace and a nuisance. If you want to hang a show, I'm the nuisance. I'm a Cinderella story if the shoe fits. I'm a pretty beam and that's where the coop is. And I got a new phone like who this? Who that? Who got my back? Funkin' on confusion. Who that? Who got my back? Funkin' round like who this? Who that? Who got my back? I was about to lose it. Who that? Who got my my has take verse is amazing uh the hook the hook is so catchy man the instrumental goes so well with the character oh my god man hand sandwich did for Taz job with his verse as always but this track was always in my rotation because that hook, yo, every time I, I had to sing that hook, man, every time. And I learned it more, more and more. I'll, I'll get to that hook and sing it perfectly. But, yo, this track was amazing. I knew this was going to be top 10 because I, I would have this in my rotation all the time. And every time I would, it, would pop, it would play, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. I was like, but yo, I was happy this is top 10. The, uh, I I enjoyed the heck out of this song when it first came out. It, it was shocking because I reacted to this so late um, to this song. And boy, I regret not listening to it when it first came out. I, I had, I, to, I had, uh, I, I think I told the story in my reaction. If you guys haven't seen my reaction to any of these tracks, check them out. Uh, I have a playlist for reaction to Norcore. Um, but yeah, I had this. I remember having this on my watch list, watch later playlist. And I don't remember if I, if it disappeared or it was reshuffled. Cause sometimes my watch later would reshuffle for some freaking reason. Uh, but yeah. And then whenever I react to it, I was like, yo, I fell in love with this track. And I enjoyed the instrumental, enjoyed the hook, enjoyed Hastic. 
enjoyed Ham Sandwich performance with this track. Yo, I enjoyed it, man. I already wow. did. And I kept it in rotation this one. Uh, and yeah. So let's go to the number four. And this is a romantic killer rap, Don't Want Love by Tasteless Mage, featuring Code Rogue. Yo, this song so catchy. The instrument is so poppy. The hook from taste, uh, the verse from Tasteless Mage is amazing. Enjoyed, I enjoyed this anim, uh, this anime. Yo, I I wanted to finish this on the first day. Couldn't finish it. I was so intrigued on one particular moment of the anime, and I wanted to keep watching it for. <laughs> I wanted to finish it that night, but I couldn't. Um, but yo, when I heard this song, I heard that that someone made a rap for Men's Killer. I had to listen to it, and yo. Oh my God, this was amazing. And Cold Rogue did an amazing job with his verse. The only rings that I need is Elden, Elden Rings. This is an amazing line, amazing part that he dropped. Many other stuff, like that, these verses were very, like they, they watched the anime. And if you, ha- if you didn't watch the anime, you wouldn't get some of the reference. It was just good, and it, it was instrumental, so boppy. The hook is amazing. Like every time when I hear the the beginning of the of the song, I'm like, "Oh snap! This is that song. This is that song." And I I know that this one was gonna be a top ten because I would. I'm telling you, it was so catchy, boppy. It was a bop that every time I heard the beginning of this. And the instrumental, I was like, "Y'all, this is the one, this is the one is going." And oh my god, I'm telling you, and that I'm telling you that I'm not here for that role. There's no RPG. I'm not here for the role play. Like, Cold Rogue did an amazing job with his verse, man. I, I want to go to listen to it because he did a fantastic job with his verse, man. Doing this on purpose with the lover, I repel them. Because honestly, there's no way. This shit ain't no RPG. I'm not here for the role play. Yo, man. I'm telling you, man. Code Rogue did a fantastic job on this verse. I got I got to check out Code Rogue. Because that verse, ugh, man, made me want to check him out. I'm telling you. Enjoyed the heck out of this song. I know this was going to be top 10. Because, yo. I was not, I, I knew this one was going to be top 10. Because I, I would have this on rotation. I'm telling you guys. So, the number three spot, we have Delta D's Brief. When I heard this song, when I first heard this one, I was like, yo, I should have react. I should have reacted to this. Because for, for once, it's Black Clover AMV. You know, I'm a huge Black Clover fan. So, that's one. But. Like God, I was not expecting this from Delta DC. He, he pop off on this on this song, man, and it's so good. And the instrumental. So many good lines, bars in there. Got no degree, but I was make like, oh. yo, I'm telling you, that this was a song that those these pop off, and I had to listen to it every time because there there was always a new line or bar that I would get. I was like, yo, 
I'm telling you, he he went off after this song. I had to keep listening to Delta T's. After this track, I had to keep going with listening to every track with those of these. Cause yo, he popped off on this one. This one, this is the song that kept me coming back to those of these. Cause he popped off on this one. This one was in the instrumental, but no hook. But you get why it's called brief, and that one part. I just played, and boy, this this was a pop. This was a track that he popped off, and I enjoyed it. And every time, yo, when this played, I was like, oh, yeah, here it goes, here it goes. Like it was a good jam, workout, play like song, because he would pop off and like, ah, oh, get the energy when he pops off. But it's a, it's an amazing track. I knew this was gonna be top ten as well. I'm telling you, this one, this was a song that Delta D's popped off, man, and yeah, whoo, and it's Black Clover A and V, man. <laughs> I'm a huge Black Clover fan, so yeah. But anyways, number two, and this is Sonic Rider song. Uh, I think it's Sonic Speed Riders by Roxu. Uh, it's not as well, it is in the Suvadasu Su- 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 uh, channel, but it's Roxu, man. And he released three tracks under Roxu. But this one was the one that cu- kept me coming back because, oh my God, I'm telling you. Uh, let, let's play it. Let's play it. Yo, man. And there was something new from Sudayasu. And yo, when I li- first listened to it, I enjoyed it. And I still enjoyed it till this day. This is one of the, I say, my favorite one from the three of Rock Steel. This one, one is my favorite. The instrumental, techno. Ah, uh, if you guys, uh, I talked about, if you guys want to know a little bit more what I talked about when I first reacted, check out my reaction as I said. Uh, I know I promoted myself too much, but, <clears throat> but that's going to be the last time. But check out these, I'm uh, checking out these artists' uh, songs. I'll put, I'll put these uh, songs in the po- in the bottom, of the, the, in the description down below, the original video, so you guys can check it out, what are you guys' thoughts. Um, but yo, I enjoy this one. Yeah. And it was so different from Sudeasu's catalog and I enjoyed this one. Like, this one was this was the first one and I enjoyed the first one. And I, I, I don't know if the other the other two were good as well or amazing as well. But this one, uh it, it kept stuck with me with the instrumental, the hook. And the rocket from Sonic Colors, it hit me with the nostalgia every time when I hear Rocket, because I remember Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors was one of my favorite Sonic games when I grew up. Um, had it on the three on the DS, played the heck. I think it was yeah on the DS. I played the heck out of that Sonic game. It was one of my favorite Sonic games. Um, Sonic Generation was a good another good one as well, <clears throat> but that was on the PlayStation Three. But anyways, but every time when I hear Rocket, it reminds me of Sonic Colors. I did get or got the remaster when it came out. But anyways, I'm talking too much about Sonic. But yeah, Roxu, if he comes back, if we come back, man, I'll be here to react to you. Okay, I en- I enjoy this music, man. It's it's totally techno, um, and I. I don't know. I, I look like I enjoy tech. No, it looks like. <laughs> so, anyways, now to number one. This was no surprise for me. I could tell you why. And uh, it's the Chainsaw Man rap AMV Cole Benny's car 
by Chick Explosion or Chicks V featuring Cool Guy Diet, Teach Chi, Want Nut God as well. So let's get let play. Let's play. Yo, the way J Explosion, the hook is amazing. I enjoy the hook, love the instrumental. Whenever it starts, I know that song. And I'm like, let's go. I, I always have to put this in full volume because that tell you, man. That, when I first reacted to this, I was already hooked. I was already hooked. The, the, I already knew this was going to be in my rotation ever since that, that first day that I reacted to it. I was like, when he released it on Spotify, I'm going to be re listening to it every day. Or every day that I have. <laughs> Every, every time when I li listen to it. And boy, every chance that I had on, on Shuffle and this song would play, I would always keep it on. Man, everyone did a fantastic job on this track. On a good uh, God, did a fantastic job. Uh, there are still good bars, good lines uh, from Chick Explosion. Like that, everyone had a good line or bar in this verse, in this song, man. SpongeBob, they know I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like if you didn't know about that one episode. I forgot what episode is that. I think it's the the hooks episode. The hooks when he gets out, when he gets ready to work, he's like, "I'm ready, ready." <clears throat> but yeah, that was a good line, boy. Everyone had a good line or boy. <laughs> The way that it stopped the instrumental a bit for his verse was amazing right there. Uh cool who ended it? Cold guy diet with the energy in the end. Yo, his energy was insane, man. It was so contagious, his energy on this track. I was like, yo, man, it was amazing. And then Jake Explosion ends it off with the hook one more time. Oh my god. This instrument was amazing. Everyone did a fantastic job. Everyone had a line. Uh a line or two. A bar. But they came in, and were, they were ready for this track. And the master, the mastering, the mixing, and mastering was amazing as well. So this was I knew that it was going to be top ten, but number one, I, yo, that's well. I, I had this since the beginning of this year, so it makes sense why I had to be number one. And if you guys haven't seen my reaction, I I, I go off on this. Song he like yo, but anyways, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed.